So children, today we know about the life of people of Saudi Arabia. In the earlier part of the video, we knew about oasis and all. So the rural uh, Arabians or the rural people of uh, Saudi Arabia, actually Saudi Arabia is known as the kingdom, the royal kingdom of Saudi Arabia. The people, the villagers mostly, they do farming, they live in a cluster near an oasis. And uh, because oasis provides them water, so they do a little bit farming there. Mostly people are nomads in deserts and uh, they are known as Bedouins. Whereas the Arabians, they lead a very lavish life, very rich life. They have a very comfortable, luxurious life. Because earlier part of the video we have discussed that a large reserves of oil is found in of petroleum. Oil means I mean to say petroleum is found in this desert region. As a result, they exchange the petroleum and and they become rich. And Saudi Arabia is one of the biggest center which defines the economy of the world. That means it influences the economy of the world that all the rates which you must be seeing the price rise which goes up and down is because of the petroleum and the people here they speak mostly Arabic language and thus uh, they because they have a lot of money mostly people you will find rarely you will find people are very poor either they are middle class or they are rich and thus and they hire people from every parts of the world, mostly from Asia, to run their refinery or petroleum wells and, and they um, give jobs to many people. Despite the desert being a harsh place, oil reserves have made people prosperous. Many citizens lead a lavish lifestyle. People mostly live in towns and cities with good infrastructure. Some people stay in villages which are located around the oasis. Some of them are farmers and other keep flocks of goats, sheep and camels. Some are nomads and move from one place to another in search of new grazing lands. The nomads of Arabia are called the Bedouins. They live in tents made of animal skin and cloth. They move in caravans through the desert and load their luggage on the camel's back. These nomads are called desert dwellers. In Arabic language, they exchange their things on their way while crossing the desert. Saudi Arabia is very distinctive because you must have seen in movies and all in in uh, the tele serials and all you must have seen the men they were long overcoat type it is known as thob they were very long overcoat coat type of thing over their dresses it is known as thob and then they wear a white cloth or a white square shaped cloth on their head it is known as tagi they wear a white cloth which is known as tagia or a square shaped cloth known as kutra and you must have seen they, are, uh, they have a headband like a rubber shape something is that it is fastened on their head with it is known as agal it is that and it is the traditional dress they have to wear it because uh, logically if you see it is, it is hot sun and to protect their face even in the hot sun when we go out we just uh, hide our face with our palm and that cloth is for that use because Saudi Arabia is very hot country and because uh, it has the sunlight is very intense there, they have to wear it. Women also wear, they are also covered from head to toe. They, are, they also wear something which covers their whole body and face. It is known as abia. Now coming to the cuisine of uh, uh, Saudi Arabia, it is a very interesting cuisine. They have a lot of protein in their cuisine. It may it be uh, lamb meat, it may it be uh, chicken, yogurt, they use yogurt because it, it is Mediterranean uh, region so yogurt is very much 
date palms and all it is used a lot and they use the fruits like plums and all so the cuisine is very interesting with with a variety of food they use a variety of food and all which uh, i'll display in the uh, video you will see it and then then the life of uh, saudi arabia is little bit uh, hard little bit troublesome but because they have ample of facility and they have the uh, the purchasing capacity they have enough money so it is people in people flock to saudi arabia from every part of the world to work and to earn money there The traditional dress of the men of Saudi Arabia is the thob or thobe. The headdress is most distinct. A tagia, which is a small white cap, is usually worn over a guthra, which is a large square cloth, and kept in place with a eagle or agal, which is a cord or headband. The women are usually in abaya, which they wear. along with a scarf the traditional dresses are usually long flowing robes made of cotton for summer and wool for winter and cover most of the body these help them cope with the extreme temperature of the desert some of the common food items in saudi arabian cuisine includes wheat rice lamb chicken yogurt potatoes and dates the saudi cuisine is very famous for its spices around the world Saudi Arabia's Kingdom Tower is one of the tallest building of Saudi Arabia and Burj Al Khalifa the famous uh, hotel or the famous tower is the largest building in the world and it is very famous uh, because uh, the because it is a very costly hotel and uh, all rich people and all the celebrities all the um, all the bureaucrats they go and they whenever they go to Dubai It, every visitor makes it a point to visit Burj Al Khalifa. So, construction of Saudi Arabia's Kingdom Tower began in 2014. The new tallest building in the world will stand 3,280 feet, which is one kilometer high, and will dwarf the Burj Khalifa Hotel. in dubai by 600 feet that is 183 meters presenting here in the video is the interior of the burj khalifa hotel which is one of the costliest hotels in the world Saudi Arabia is a country 
ruled by the Al Saud family. The name of its monarch is King Salman.